frozen. This is about a play that my granddaughter was in. I saw time tonight, written in the language of cheeks in smiles. The middle school play was an opera about love. Families clinging to all they have and always risk losing. I cried, too, with the audience who love to love with round cheeks and smiles. This is a two-part poem called Creeks. One, birthday week. They feel obliged to tell me what they really think, as if this were going to be their last chance. I spent the days squirming in the forgotten past. I draw more of the wrong connections between memories. The candles on the cake burn out before I can blow at them. I want to go back to the silken room's personal paradise of private memory. Number two, movie about Carolina. What can they really give me, those others in faraway houses? Even as we gather, I see them clear. That makes them distant. We never join. Their strength never enters my body. I remain alone. Sometimes the cold makes me afraid. Cold and fear are dread. Dread makes endings. A Sibelius Tone Poem I heard the music and I felt the land. It was rocky, all right. The soil fit tight over a tough, rounded skeleton and muscled skin. I felt the earth lift itself out of the range of human scale. There was no room for life. I heard no voices. I just knew the country didn't forgive. I knew I would view her with a gasp. 